Hello all, Shoestring here. Today what I'm going to do is review these inexpensive charge controllers. They're Chinese, they uh, can get them around $15 on Amazon, you can even get them around 10 on eBay if that's one of the systems you use. Anyway, they are inexpensive, they are cheap, and they are simple. The question is, do they work? And that's what I've been asked by several of my followers, and that's exactly what we're going to look at today. So, let's take a look at it. It has, of course, where you put, they're down here actually, where you put your wires, okay? Then up here, it, the screws for it, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You can see here it shows you a picture of a solar panel, of a battery, and one for the load, which we'll talk about in a moment. It's important to you put all these in the right place. Then, of course, you have your controls up here and two USBs. All right, so let's start out by putting this together. First thing we're going to do, as with most of these, is we're going to put the connect the battery first. Then we're going to connect the panels. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll take the red, and we see here where it says battery. Okay, so we're going to connect it to the battery first. Put in the red. Screw that down. And as you can prob hopefully see, not only is there a picture of a battery, but there's also a plus and a minus sign to let you know exactly where they go in at. And we'll tighten those down. Okay, now that we have those firmly connected, make sure they're in there really well. Next thing we do is we take the cables, the alligator clips, and we're going to connect it to the battery. I have here a wet lead acid battery, which is, of course, the bulk of all my solar power systems. And we're going to test it. So first we're going to connect the red. Then we're going to connect the black. And as on the battery, just like on the charge controller, it has a plus and it has a minus. We're going to connect those. And the charge controller should come on. And it is. The charge controller is now powered. You can see that it shows that the battery is connected and it's 12.7. So this can be charged up a little bit. And that's what we're going to do next. So the next step, of course, would be to connect the solar panels to our charge controller. And that's what we're going to do here. Same thing as we did before. As you can see right here, it shows solar panels. And it has a positive and a negative. Positive, of course, is black. Negative. I mean, positive is red. Make sure I say that right. And the negative is black. So let's go ahead and get these in. All right, now that we have the negative in there as well. Okay, so the solar panels are now connected. You can see that because right here, which there wasn't before, is a picture of the solar panel. See that? Solar panel. And it shows an arrow going to the battery. Once it gets charged up, that arrow will go away. What you're seeing over here, the light bulb, it means the load is on. So you push the button. And it's now off. The load, by the way, which I'm not going to demonstrate, but I'll tell you about, simply means you can take two wires connected to some DC 12-volt device and put it into there. And as long as the sun is shining on the solar panels, it will run. Okay, so we now have it charged. Well, it's now charging. You can see it. We will show that the voltage is set at 14.2 for it to stop charging. At 14.2, this will the system will stop, not to overheat the battery. That's what that there is for. All right, so what we want to do here is make sure you read your manual that comes with a device like this, and you read the manual with your battery to make sure it gets charged properly. I also want to point out, that this charge controller is only good with 
these batteries I have here, these deep cycle wet lead acid batteries and with AGM. Please do not use this charge controller on lithium batteries. They simply aren't made for it and won't work well. So lead acid and AGM. Don't use them on any other type of battery. It's an important point. I wanted to make sure I pointed out to you. That's important. All right, now we're going to check the USB. All right, so next we wanted to see if the USBs on these worked. And it says, if you can see that right there, it says charging. So it is, once again, right there, charging. So it is charging, which is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, whatever that means. Okay, so... Here we are. It is charging. We can see the battery up here. And we saw it said charging. So let's try the other one. Since there's two. Okay. It also shows, if you can see the little battery indicator right there, it shows it is charging as well. So both USBs work. It is at the moment connected to the solar panels and the charge controller. You can see that because, like I said, the solar panel shows up and it is blinking. And just since we've had it connected, this went from 12.7 to 12.8, which is pretty good. I only have it connected to 45-watt solar panel. So we're going to leave it out here for a while and see how long it will take it on that little bit of charge and that little bit of sun to get up to fully charged. And we'll do another video on how well it works and how long it will work in the future. So if you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and like and put something down in the comments. I get a lot of suggestions on videos to make, things people want to know by the comments below. Shoestring out.